Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. On this video, we're doing the Discovery Changing Loop. Change into your beachwear. Now before we do that, let's go ahead and participate in the other Costa del Amor game, the Card Carnival, so we can get both of the beachwear options. The game might help you think, then give me a break. No time for games. I need to shop. So that is this way. Looks like this is up and running. hidden around town, and you'll be capering right along with them in this fun contest. I'm so sorry. You don't have the ticket required to participate in this event. Please come back when you do. They won't let me play. hidden around town, and you'll be capering right along with them in this fun contest. What the hell is a caper? I've looked everywhere, and I haven't found one cactuar. Register here for the great Cactuar Caper. All right, I can't uh, wait to rub it in everyone's faces when I find the ball. That lady's confident. Uh, what's this dude on the ladder doing? Apparently nothing. Come on, you guys want to talk to me? I know you do. Let the paint flow along the wall like a gentle sea. Too stiff. Get a bee the breeze. Speak like the breeze. Sir, don't you get cheeky with me. It's like the guy from Karate Kid. Wax on, wax off. Okay, let's go to the card carnival. Wanna play card carnival? It's Queen's Blood with a twist. So, you ready to draw some blood? And look who it is, Regina. Hey there, what's up? Oh, let me guess. Searching for a more partner? I am. <laughs> and now you found her. Just so you know, the rules are different for this event. Instead of the usual one-on-one -on -one format, we have to play in teams, which is why I'm glad you're here. I'm sure this won't come as a shock, but I didn't sign up to lose. With you on my team, though, I doubt I'll have anything to worry about. Between the two of us, there's no one better at the game. Want to try your luck? Then step right on up! Card Carnival. Unlike the one-on-one -on -one format of most Queen's Blood matches, Costa Del Amor allows players to compete in pairs. The house provides the cards, while you provide the cunning in these puzzles designed to test your QB acumen. Complete three challenges to win. Play Card Carnival? Yes. All right, so we have Cards Del Amor Challenge Round 1, and it's a card puzzle easy. What's some more fun than a game of Queen's Blood? A puzzle. Your opponent has laid their cards on the table. Place yours in the right spot at the right time to emerge victorious. Your partner, Regina, has already completed this challenge. If you complete it as well, the two of you will proceed. And you get a card reward for this. It's card 23, a Fleet Wing. Them okay, so we get three cards. They have one point on the top row, two points in the middle row, and four points in the bottom row. So we need to keep that in mind. Uh, let's go ahead and play really the only thing that we can play, our fleet wing right here. Huh. Interesting. All right, now that gives us some options. What we'll want to do is play the zoo here so it wins the top row and uh, puts a position here for rank two in the middle for our Quetzalcoatl to win. No, that's not bad. Could have done worse, that's for sure. And that will do it. And we got the Fleet Wing, no abilities on this card. Rank one, three power. And the 
like the positions behind it diagonally. All right, cards Delamore challenge round two, another easy card puzzle. What's some more fun than a game of Queen's Blood? A puzzle. Your opponent has laid their cards on the table, herd your chocobos into a single lane to boost your score and find the path to victory. Your partner Regina has already completed this challenge. If you complete it as well, the two of you will proceed. And for this we get card 109, the Posh Chocobo. Don't lose focus, you hear me? All right, well, we'll want to target the bottom row. So we'll start with our fat chocobo. That's going to give us seven points. Still too early to tell. Then we'll play our posh chocobo. That'll give a position to the left for the chocobo and moogle to be played. Keep that up and you'll be fine. Now, the, um, the posh chocobo is interesting if you look at it. Its ability is when you win the lane, receive a score bonus of three. So right now... We're getting 11 points, but the plus three as well. And then we can play our Chocobo and Moogle there for 14 plus three, 17 points. And that will be, be and that will beat the 16 points in the uh, top rows for the opponent. Huh, didn't know you had it in you. Okay, and we got our Posh Chocobo. Interesting card. Two power plus three if you win the, the lane. Not the best positions that it provides, but it's a very interesting card. Potentially five power for one, for a rank one spot. That's pretty good. It's really good, actually. All right, then we have cards Delamore challenge round three. Another easy card puzzle. What's some more fun than a game of Queen's Blood? A puzzle. Your opponent has laid their cards on the table. Have the Moogle Trio summon the Mage and Bard to your hand, then use their unique abilities to come out on top. Your partner Regina has already completed this challenge. If you complete it as well, the two of you will proceed. This one will give us card 110, the Moogle Trio, and a companion card for Cloud for our Beachwear. What's your next move? All right, so the Moogle Trio, when played, add both the Moogle Mage and the Moogle Bard to your hand. Uh, yeah, we could do that right now. Well, we'll see how that plays out. Okay, and then let's go ahead and play the Fleet Wing here to get positions behind it. And that will give seven points in our middle row for us. So yeah, doing all right there. That's not bad. Okay, and then our Moogle Bard raise the power of allied cards on affected tiles by two while well, this card is in play. Let's go ahead and play him here. Keep that up, and you'll do fine. So now we've got six points on the middle row. So we've already won that row. Uh, let's see here. Well, we're not going to win the bottom row, so let's go ahead and play the Moogle Mage. When played, lower the power of enemy cards on affected tiles by four, so that's just going to blast the Cactuar, which will make it possible for us to... Will that make it possible for us to win that row? Let's see. That'll drop it to... Why does it say six? Oh, no, that will drop it to six. Yeah, because they're currently a nine. Okay. Yeah, we'll play that uh, here, and I'll drop it to six. And the more important thing is that it's going to lower this bottom row by a significant amount, and then we could take the bottom. So, yeah, actually, we're going to go for the bottom, and that's just going to reduce the amount of points that they earn from the top. Could have done worse, that's for sure. Okay, so we're gonna win the middle, and now we can win the bottom with a wolf played right there, and that'll give us 11 points versus their six. Keep that up and you'll do fine.
Alright, and we got the Moogle Trio. Kind of an interesting card. I don't know if I'm sold on it, though. It's alright. Congratulations! You two sure know how to win in style. Come back whenever you like. Thanks for being my partner. Haven't had that much fun in a while. I could be persuaded to go again. That's a funny way of asking for a favor. <laughs> I appreciate the sentiment, but I don't play matches I already know I'm gonna win. Would much rather spend that time upping my game. <sighs> Sadly, I don't meet many people who can teach me much. Though I did run into you. Anyway, I'm sure we'll see each other around sometime. Good luck! Oh my, shot you down. We also offer one-on-one -on -one matches though, so don't worry about it. You completed every easy rank puzzle. And I love how Regina's acting like I didn't absolutely crush her on the boat, but whatever. Let's do some more challenges. I hope you have a great match. So, let's do the power down practice. It's a skill drill. Practice using the Arc Dragon skill to enfeeble your opponent's cards. When a card's power reaches zero, it is destroyed. Upon destruction, a card's skill is automatically deactivated. When a skill affected space overlaps with an expansion space, you can claim the newly opened space as your own. Check a placed card's skill by moving your cursor to its position on the board. All right, so for this one, we've got the crabs on the bottom buffing those queen bees, and uh, we just want to take out the crab, so we're going to blast that crab, get rid of the crab and the buff, and that opens up that slot so we can use another arc dragon to blast away that crab. So now we're going to win the bottom row, and we can play our Quetzalcoatl there to win the middle row, and we'll have nine points to there for Next, we'll do Spears and Needles. This is an advanced card puzzle. In this four card challenge, your opponent has laid their cards on the table. Deploy your Spearhawk and Cactuar cards at the right time to take advantage of bonus spaces and claim victory. And this one will give a reward of card 31, the Spearhawk. What did this one give us again? I can't remember. I don't know if it gave us anything. But anyways, for this one, we get a Spearhawk. Okay, so let's go ahead and play our Cactuar there. We want to buff that space that's open. And then we're going to play a Spearhawk here. And we'll have that Spearhawk buff this Spearhawk, which is going to take that position on the bottom. So we now have won the middle row. And uh, this Quetzalcoatl is going to get a plus five in that position down below, which will get us to eight. So we win the bottom and the middle. We'll have 11 points to their six from the top row win. Okay, and we got the Spearhawk, which uh, will be nice. I'll probably use a Spearhawk and uh, a Crab. That way I can buff things below or above whatever's needed on the board. So, really happy to get this card. All right, now we'll do Sea Devil by Night. This is an advanced card puzzle. In this limited deck challenge, your opponent has laid their cards on the table. Beware the Mind Flayer at the center of the board. It will sap strength from adjacent cards and destroy them. Sacrifice your Mandragoras in order to enable your Sea Devil skill and emerge victorious. And for this one, we get card 32, the Sea Devil. All 
Okay, so first things first, we're gonna need rank three positions to play our Sea Devil. So let's put a security officer right there. He's gonna get sacrificed. The mind player is gonna eat him, but he will still put those positions down. All right, now we can play a Sea Devil. You can see when allied cards are played from hand, raise this card's power by one. So we're gonna need more points on the middle row. So we're gonna play the Sea Devil there first. Then we can play a Sea Devil on the bottom left, and uh, the first Sea Devil will get buffed from this playing. There we go. And then we want a Mand Mandragora in the safe spot here. And then we just sacrifice our Mandragoras. And every time we play a Mandragora, we get a Mandragora minion. So, more things to sacrifice to buff those Sea Devils. Alright, so we've got seven points in the middle. We win that one. We got five points on the bottom. We win that one. Twelve points versus their eight. Okay, and we got the Sea Devil. Not sure if I wanna use this card or not. I mean, a very, very, very good card if you can play it early, but outside of that, it's okay. So if you can get it out early, it'd be great. Like, pairing it with Titan would be amazing, but you would have to draw them both. So, I don't know, we'll see. It may be worth it. All right, and then we have a Kingly Clash. This is also an advanced card puzzle. In this limited deck challenge, your opponent has laid their cards on the table. As your own forces wane, the Tonberry King's power grows. Use this skill to your advantage by destroying your cards with Death Wheel and Mind Flayer. Then unleash the King's Karma. And this will give us the Tonberry King, card 35. All right, so this one's a little trickier. If we look at our uh, Flame Trippers, when they're destroyed, you lower the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by three. So we definitely are going to destroy our own cards in this scenario. Uh, but first, we want to play our Tomberry King and the Mind Flayer. And in order to do that, we're going to play our Zoo in the existing rank uh, two positions. So play the Zoo there. Play the zoo there, and now we have rank two positions on the middle lane. So, we'll want to play our Tomberry King first. We'll play him right there. And then we want our Mind Flare in the back, so he can get all those spaces negatives. All right, and that leaves the top left and bottom left positions for our Death Wheels to take out our Flame Troopers and buff the Tomberry. So Tomberry jumps up to seven power with that, and then we can put a Death Wheel up here, take out the other Flame Trooper, and that will take out the Alpha Dunk and the other Zoo, and the Tomberry's gonna get a ton of power. Oh, and I guess I never actually showed the Tomberry power. I just kind of assumed that we knew. Uh, but when allied cards are destroyed, raise this card's power by two. So destroying all of those cards gave us a whole lot of power on our Tomberry King. And of course, the Mind Flayer was lowering the cards here by one. So anyways, we got 16 points in the middle lane. That'll obviously win it. And then that will beat the 14 points they're getting from the top and the bottom lane. All right, and we got the Tomberry King. Very, very interesting card if we want to play with a, a sacrifice deck or we think that the opponent is going to be taking out a lot of our cards. 
So either way, this could be a very interesting card to play with. All right, and that is all of the challenges here at the Card Carnival. So let's head up to the changing booth. Oh, and actually, before we do, let's eavesdrop on these people playing. I can't say I've ever played this team oh, we got a novice over here. Are you hyped up for the match? All right, and then let's see. Anybody hanging out? On the pier, we got somebody down here. Okay, seriously. Where the hell are these cactuars? I mean, isn't that one right there? Open your eyes, man, quit drinking. chatting over here we've got our changing booth so where to next day still thinking all right so cloud is currently in the ex-soldier first class uniform let's change that oh wait what am i doing i didn't buy the other thing I didn't buy the other outfit. Hold up. Hang loose. Got any companion cards? You can exchange them for outfits here. All right, we're getting the ocean chocobo. Okay, now we have both of the beachwear options. Day. Now let's go to the changing room. All right, so like I said, we're currently in the ex-soldier first class outfit. Let's first try out the ocean chocobo. And not gonna lie, I really do like that. It's pretty nice, but we've got to go bare-chested cloud. We've got to. Bear chested cloud is here. He's confident. He's ready to walk the streets. Confirm. All right, go to the beach when you are ready. So, anyways, our discovery with the changing booth is done, and we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up right here. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.